first thing we need to do is assess the shape of the patient's limb. Do we have an inverted cone shape? Secondly, we need to assess the patient for bony prominences. This would include the tibial crest, the malleoli and the dorsum of the foot. We would then measure the patient's ankle circumference to ensure the correct bandage kit is used. We will take the tape measure and measure just above the malleoli. This patient's ankle is 20 centimeters and therefore suitable for the 18 to 25 centimeter kit. Then we need to position the foot at a 90 degree angle, that is toes to nose. Then we apply the first layer, K-Soft. This is designed to absorb exudate, but its most important function is to reshape the leg and protect bony prominences as required. Firstly, we take the edge of the bandage and align it with the base of the toes. We then take it around the base of the foot and that's your first turn secured. If the foot is longer, then we would need to do a second turn. Then from here, you would do your ankle lock. You would cup the base of the heel, then take the bandage up and over the top of the foot, under the foot, to close the window where we can see skin. And then from here, apply the bandage lightly with no stretch at a 50% overlap. We need to ensure this is a 50% overlap to ensure we gain two layers of K-Soft. As we come up towards the knee, we need to be mindful that we finish just below the knee at the front and at the rear of the leg, we need to be two fingers below the popliteal space to prevent damage to the tendons. We then remove the excess, no extra layers will be required. If we had an issue with a tibial crest, you could simply use a strip of K-Soft down the front of the limb to protect this area. If we had an issue with a bony malleoli or tendons, then we could put an extra turn of K-Soft around the ankle. If we had an issue with a bony dorsum, we could create a pillow of K-Soft to sit on top of this area to protect the dorsum.